So here we have Moose. We are actually at Camden Park. We are going to be working on Moose's recall in this distracted environment. So there's lots of cars going by on all four sides of me. So I'm having them on a low line just for safety purposes. I don't want him actually running out into the road if something were to happen and he gets spooked by something. So I'm going to let him get distracted, which he is right now. Now you never want to recall when they're when you're 95% sure they won't come back. So I want to get his attention. Moose, come. Yes, good boy. And then when he gets to me, I give him that treat. Good boy. Good boy. So I don't want him to get out any tangled in here. Moose. So I'm actually going to drop it. There we go. So I'm going to have him go to get distracted. Moose, good. Yes, good boy. Good boy, give him lots and lots of praise when he gets to me because I want to throw a big party. I want him to always be excited when he does come to me. Yes, good. Yes, good boy. Good boy. So by getting their attention, you can whistle, you can make some kind of loud noise to make sure their eyes are on you. If their eyes are on you, looks good. Yes, their ears are turned off. They're not listening to you. And you only want to say it once, so I'm going to say moose, come. Yes, good boy. And if he were to not listen, I make some kind of loud noise so he knows, oh, when I hear that word, I do have to come so you're not reusing the, overusing the word over and over and over. Moose, come. Yes, so we got a little distracted, so I just gave him that kissy noise and he came right to. Good boy. Good boy. So he's a little distracted. So I'm gonna wait for him to come to me. Yes, good boy. Good boy, Moose. Good boy. Yes. Moose, come. Listening, he was eating a pine cone. I just gave that little tug on that long line to know that when I give him that, when I give him that recall, um, he has to come to me. So when he didn't come, he was eating a pine cone. I just kind of gave that um, long line just a bit of a pull, and he came right over. Like, oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. <sighs> Good boy. Good boy. You want to do some more? Do some sits and downs. Come down. Good boy. 
it? Yes. Oh, you dropped it. You dropped it. Where did it go? I'm almost nervous. Here it is. Who's good? because whether it be here or at the manor we always want them to be strong in recall so when they come home they're extra strong they know what they're doing um good boy moose moose yes we always want them to go home with strong recalls because we don't want them to run away or anything like that we want them to listen to you and of course we show you the best way to set you up for the best of class all right you want to end on some sits and downs sit yes okay good boy we always like to end on our strongest command, whether that be normally it sits and downs, just because it's the first thing they learn, it's the thing we focus on all the time. We always end um, our sessions with it. Sit. Yes. And it's really the base of a lot of different things, like the sit stays and the down stays. Down. Good. Down. And say sit. Oh, here. Well, I guess you're laying down. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You want belly rubs? You want belly rubs? And then we always like to end our sessions, of course, with lots and lots of belly rubs and snuggles because we always want to make sure it's positive. We always want them to work with us. And we love working with them. So ending on lots of snuggles. And just playing with them, getting them used to all different kind of feelings, like tugging on their ears, huh, tugging on their tail, playing with your feet, because we want you to love to be playing with, huh? Good boy, you see all the cars and trucks going by? Good boy. 